This is 90.3 FM, KEXP Seattle, streaming all over the universe at kexp.org and on our mobile apps. My name is Kennedy. You are listening to Audio Oasis. This is your all-local Pacific Northwest show, and I am so excited to be here in the live room with one of my favorite Seattle bands, La Fonda. Hello. Hi. (laughs) If you're ready, we would love to hear some music. We're ready. This is LaFonda, live on KEXP. Like your last lullaby Before I hit the Listening to La Fonda live on KEXP.
So good. It's LaFonda live on KEXP. We got one more. One more.
LaFonda live on KEXP. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing your wonderful music. Y'all just heard the songs Living in the Amazon, We Are Infinite, Kaleidoscope, and New Mexico. All of those are off the new record, We Are Infinite, that is due out on April 7th. And we are so looking forward to listening to the full thing. Yay. <laughs> so, so Everything funny. sounded great today. And I believe in an email you sent me, this is your eighth anniversary as a band, your band anniversary. Well, going into our eighth year. Going yeah. into your eighth year. Awesome. Crazy eight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how you started playing together and how much you've changed over this almost decade that you've been playing music? Um, yeah. So Valerie, that's Valerie. I'm oh. Veronica. We're sisters, so that had to be a thing first. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. We both moved in together in our early 20s and started playing music together. Both were kind of going through these breakups, and then we had someone came over one day and was like, hey, you guys should start a band. They heard us write our own songs, and we were like, wow, that's the best idea. Um, and then after that, we kind of started looking everywhere to get bandmates. We knew Jesse from the past. Um, we used to be roommates when we were like 18, 19. And, uh, and then we met Brian on, on a dating app, um, started swiping yes to all these different like bass players, drummers, and then... If you're holding an instrument, I was like, yes, okay, cool. Yeah, so, let's, so let's and, then, and then later on, we went through quite a few drummers, but Jacob um, has been with us now for four years, and when he joined the band, that's when we really started feeling like we started honing in our sound and um, started getting a little bit more serious about music. That's awesome. It seems like so much of your music revolves around this love of uh, family and your community, um, as this is the local show. I would love for you to talk about how the Seattle music scene, or just in general, the Pacific Northwest music scene, has influenced you or supported you as musicians. I think that all starts, you know, like with our parents. They have the, an amazing love for music, and we grew up going to Bumper Shoot and like any festival folk that life. we could, folk life, and they Sasquatch. would just take us out. And Sasquatch. you know, we grew up listening to, you know, to Santana, and my mom loves music, and so she always and my dad have just always told us to do what feels good and picking up a guitar and sitting in a living room always felt good for our family. You know, even get, if... You used to get dropped off at like the old Graceland to go to like emo shows and that was always really fun. And, you know, we yeah, just... Yeah, our mom would just drop us off and be like, bye, I'll pick you up at 10. We were like 14 and that, you know, that's, that's a huge influence, you know, having the freedom to be able to believe that something like a guitar or a notebook and a pencil could be a vessel for creativity and healing and love and art led me to my family, which is my band and... So one interesting fact about all of us is that we are all from the Seattle area. And so we definitely have bonded over that and this region and its music, growing up, going to shows separately and then coming together as one in, in this place. That's yeah, so we, just, we love going to shows together. It's so I love fun. it. And festivals, like when we were just starting out the band, we'd go to Sasquatch every every year. I think that was really influential for us as a band. Like I remember just finding Jesse and Brian one night and uh, Modest Mouse was playing uh, dopamine and we were like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really great thing about the Seattle music community is that everyone just builds off each other and are able to inspire one another. So that's really awesome. And yeah. I love hearing that about your parents, just They're letting you go do your thing. So parents take best. note. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, speaking of community, you recently put out a super fun music video for your track Kaleidoscope, which we just heard in that set. Um, that was a collaboration with Girl Band Productions, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. they're awesome. How did you make that connection? And uh, was filming that as fun as it looked? <laughs> yes, we actually started filming at 9 p.m. and literally pulled an all-nighter, wow. which is how Valerie and I first started writing the bass of the song. Um, we pulled an all-nighter on tour. and uh, and But we just met Girl Band like through Instagram, just, you know, having mutual friends. And we were like, hey, we love your, love your stuff. We would love to work with you and then have built a relationship since. And they're doing another music video for us soon, so. Tomorrow. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're so excited. We're going to pull an all-dayer. An all-dayer. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. And uh, aside from the new record, which we're all very excited about, I wanted to talk to you about a single that you put out in 2022, which was a cover of Mike Snow's Animal. Personally, I love that song and that whole entire record since my mom had like a few records when I was a kid that she would just play on repeat, and that was one of them. Uh, what made you choose that specific cover? Because I believe that's... The only cover that you've put out officially? Yeah, yeah. So honestly, that was so that song is so special because I started playing guitar really late. I was like going through a breakup. I was like 23, 24, you know, and for my 25th birthday, I bought an electric guitar in Spokane, Washington. And that is the first song I learned on guitar. So it's always been a special song. Like when we play it together, we used to busk at the market when I first moved back home to Seattle. And we would just play that song like it was... A lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and so when we were brought to the band, we were recording our record um, just over the last couple of years, the We Are Infinite. And we had some extra time in the studio with Mike Davis, uh, who's our who produced and engineered um, our forthcoming record. And we were like... Like, let's just play this song because it feels good. And it was so fun. We did it in the live room at Hall of Justice. And it was just, it was such a blast recording there. And we were all together and just kind of feeling the music. It's and everything of, was all set up. So we were like, we have nothing to lose. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> one of those songs that if we, we just want to do for fun. And that's kind of when we were recording a record, we were like, you know, every day working on something. And then we were like, we need a break. And that was kind of like our break was recording that song. We've been playing that song since La Fonda started at live shows. We've yeah. been playing that oh, wow. for, for as long as we are, are. And I just love that song. You know, it's like the lyrics it always brings me back to that song because we, I feel like La Fonda is, has changed so many, like we, we change. We have grown up together. We've, you know, Brian, Jesse, Jacob, Veronica, I mean, they've, we've, we've had our wild 20s together <laughs> and we have experienced like the evolution of our beings like alongside each other as a family through thick and thin and, you know, losing people close and, you know, being able to have this band family and having music as a way to heal, it just reminds us like we're, we're going to change shapes and we're going to go through life in all these different ways, but we're always going to have each other to fall back on. And you know, I always come back to that song because of the lyrics. That's so sweet. And yeah, that's a, a theme I've definitely noticed in a lot of your music is the embracing of change in your lives. So, yeah. I mean, I can feel it when you guys play yeah. together, the sense and the connection that you have. It's really beautiful. Thank you. We're so, we feel so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Again, LaFonda's new record, We Are Infinite, is set to come out on April 7th. And you just heard songs off the upcoming album. Can you tell us a little bit about writing and recording that record? You ch chatted about it a little bit, but uh, what, was, what was your process in making it? How long has it been in the works? Gosh, well, we started recording it. Um, it was a, it's a classic pandemic story. You know, we were in the car <laughs> yep. coming home. We were on our way to Eugene to play a show. We had just got done from Portland and we were all listening to NPR. And this, you know, podcast came on about uh, the, the virus. And we were all like, oh my God, we have to turn around right now. And then literally two days later, uh, the whole city was shut down. But after that, I think we all really, we were in each other's little pandemic bubble and we just felt this urgency to write because we didn't know if what was going to happen and um also I got pregnant so when whenever women can relate like I felt this crazy urgency to to just write and record and get in the studio and just it, it was pouring out of all of us so yeah we when we first started really writing the songs, we rented a, a little house mm -hmm. on an orchard in Whidbey Island, and we all just came together and started showing each other songs and started just workshopping things. And New Mexico, I think, was the first song. New Mexico and Spokane Views are yeah, the two New songs. Yeah, Me New Mexico and Spokane Views. Yeah. And, um, and yeah. fun it's fact, the, the album cover of our first album, uh, was shot there at the Apple Orchard. So it's the, we put the finishing touches on the first album and then started the second album all in a weekend. And it was a great bonding experience. Yeah, but, you know, some of these songs we we kind of, Valerie and I kind of had the the base of them and then we kind of bring them to the band. Um, and then Jesse, living in the Amazon, Jesse kind of been sitting on that song for like 10 years and then we kind of <laughs> added lyrics and you know we just then we kind of workshopped it in the studio we would kind of 
hit up Mike and be like, hey, can we do a week here, a weekend here, two weeks here? So I think overall it took us about a year and a half or so to actually record the whole thing. And we did a lot of workshopping in the studio and it was just a really cool experience working with Mike. Yeah, it's amazing. That's great. And I got to bring my little baby, Aww. which was so fun. You know, and <laughs> it's just such a blast because it's like we started recording, I think, when I was six months pregnant and we finished when he was about nine months old. So that's kind of the way oh, I wow. measure things. It's It was really fun to just actually like see him in the studio like doing tummy time and then, oh, all of a sudden you're walking and it was just a really, it's been a wild adventure together and um, we feel really blessed that we all get to just like share in those growing experiences. And you, one thing about the record too is, you know, during the pandemic, it really just helped us shift from like our party life to not that. And I think a lot of these songs were written out of realization that we just want to be better for ourselves and for each other. And, um, and so that was a really, this writing this record was really healing and it was just a, really a great experience to just be sober and be together in the studio and, and grow together. I'm really glad to hear that and that you guys had each other, especially during the pandemic and were able to use mu music kind of as a coping mechanism Absolutely. as it is for so many of us, <laughs> as we say at KXP Music Heals. And like, it's really true. It's so true. We're not just being corny. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. <laughs> well, again, uh, thank you so much for being here and stopping you. by, sharing your music and uh, letting me pick your brain. Uh, this was so fun. And I hope to see you guys again in here. We hope so. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Huge thank you as well to our amazing video team, our audio engineers, everyone who makes KXP sessions like this possible to the community. A gigantic thank you to our big KXP community that makes these live on KXP sessions possible. And if you want to power the music and performances that you love, you can make a donation and become an amplifier today at kxp.org. And uh, while you're on the KXP kick, you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well to see the session when it drops and all the other amazing live on KXP sessions that we have up on there. Thank you, friends, for being here. I Thank love you. you all dearly. We love, love you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much. This has been La Fonda, live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.